Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so that will be Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, and uh, Scorpio Rising weekly tarot reading April 22nd to uh, April 28th. And as uh, soon as I'm done with the shuffling, uh, we are going to jump into the reading. And by the way, guys, I, uh, as you probably know me, I don't think that it is necessary for me to shuffle in front of camera. But uh, let me know what you think about it in the uh, comments down below, you know, do you want me to shuffle in front of camera or not? Because that kind of takes like a minute from the video and I don't know, I, I don't think it's efficient. But anyway, so you, you let me know uh, what you prefer. Anyway, so going to the uh, Scorpio uh, week weekly reading here, uh, first card that we do have that is going to be the Chariot, which is the topic of Scorpio's week followed by the second card which is the challenges that Scorpio need to overcome here that is going to be the uh, hangman afterwards we do have the positivity in the Scorpio's week that is going to be the nine of swords and the last one that is going to be the guidance um, <clears throat> of the uh, of tarot for the week itself, we do have the Eight of Pentacles. So once again, the Chariot card is the first one, followed by the Hangman, which is the second, third one that is going to be the Nine of Swords, and the last one that we do have, guys, that is going to be the Eight of Pentacles. So uh, you, Scorpio, are to realize this week that there is no easy way around it, but the good thing about the week itself is that you can achieve literally anything, whatever you have placed as a goal in front of yourself, it just, it will require rather tremendous efforts now however the week itself it does point to triumph that is going to be the very topic of it we do have the a chariot card which generally speaks for success triumph being capable to establish a, a leading force meaning you being a leader of a certain force determination tenacity and iron will the chariot card is about you reaping the fruits of the luck of your work all right wish fulfillment as well and not to mention that one can charge for a significant, significant conquest into their life, either career-wise or either relationship-wise. The thing with the chariot is that this endeavor will require your unique signature, meaning that you will have to do it on your own. It is, it, it is how, it, 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 how it works with the chariot car, all right? You can't rely on anybody's help. You can't rely as well on, any, on anybody's approval. but whatever you are after, you got to take it on your own, okay? The accompanied card with the chariot, this is going to be the uh, seven of cups. So uh, here the formation is passive, uh, passive supporters. And as I said, that you can do anything, anything it is what you can do. So goals which seemed quite unrealistic back in the day, now this week are going to be pretty much within your grasp but once again it will require meticulous preparation and somewhat heroic actions in order to those goals to be secured additionally to that you will have no um, doubts whatsoever that you're doing the right thing because the right thing is going to be the luck of your hard work very much throughout the week you're going to reach significant independence in regards to your business endeavors social um social enterprises or 
a relationship activities and thanks to that guys you are to be recognized as a very strong solid and reliable person as well now the problem here that we do have are the challenges really and that is going to be the hangman so the hangman it is not a very pleasant card usually the hangman signifies stillness and that the situation itself cannot be traversed based on one activities but for us scorpio this challenge that we do have it is um how can i place it a simultaneously going to be a test of fate and also a, a breakthrough it's very difficult to explain it but let's say that we will have to do the unthinkable here throughout the week we will have to do the unspeakable for our behalf throughout the week to traverse and to overcome the stillness that we do have into our life well i'm scorpio and i'm I, and i am sure as hell that nothing is really happening into my life I'm only thing that I'm doing is playing video games, making videos and readings, guys, nothing else extraordinary. So I will have to kind of like break that routine here. And that is the challenge to overcome the stillness, to recognize that we are in a state that is simultaneously a, a test of faith. All right. And a breakthrough should be willing to get up, get up out of your butt, you know, and improve our circumstances because it's simple as that guys those who are active they will improve you know those who put a hard work as the chariot here points they will collect the fruits of your of their labor or out those, those who are not afraid to take on challenge they will be successful those who sit at home play video games like me all day long you know and do nothing but working at the same work over and over again they will stay at the same place that is the challenge here that we need to overcome scorpio the accompanied card that is going to be the emperor so uh we are seeing here uh, with uh, this uh, the shade is uh passive enemies that we do have and you scorpio will have to face some states of uncomfortability throughout the week all right you you, you basically need to place yourself out of that bubble you created for yourself out of that castle that you have built for yourself where you feel extremely secure that nothing can touch you there that you do uh, exert control over everything well you have to jeopardize that for throughout the week guys i mean you have to display yourself into the place or rather like you have to put yourself into a, a place that anything can happen that you have little control whatsoever so you allow an amazing things amazing um, um enterprises and surprises excuse me was the word that i'm searching for are to happen to you because the current state that you have built your world around, there is no room for surprises, all right? There is no room for breakthroughs. So you have to try out something brilliant. You got, you got to surprise the universe if you, uh, if you want to take it that way. So uh, going to the next card, which is the positivity out of, uh, out of this week, that is going to be the Nine of Swords. You will fully, uh, on a positive end here, you will fully understand what the consequences are of you not making anything about it, all right? You don't place yourself into this positions which are allowing some surprises to come around additionally to that you are going to be able to overcome the fear of you being placed into a zone of no comfort whatsoever being eager to face the varieties that are coming into your way eager to try as well and in generally as a, a very very positive interpretation of the nine of swords you are to overcome big fears of your behalf so for example if you are afraid to love again that fear will be no longer if you are afraid you know to take um, a certain project on your behalf and to try it out that fear will be no longer because you are to re realize you know that only through accepting con not consequences but responsibility for your actions it is when that these actions actually matter for something additionally to that with the uh, nine of swords you are to uh, find out that the current worries you do have you know that you're worrying over something is either in vain uh, your worries are either in vain or uh, you it, they are merely a trifles you know things that can be easily easily overcome you can be afraid you know to open your heart into someone and this week you are to find out that that is that your worries are in vain because this someone is not going to betray your heart 
Uh, the accompanied card here that is going to be the 10 of cups formation is active neutrals, what we do have. So it will take some time to build up, you know, a new zone of comfort or to start feeling the happiness really from this new enterprises and endeavors which you are going to put yourself through or this new venture, should I say it? Uh, should I say it that way, that you're going to put yourself through. But this slowly developing hap uh, happiness is going to start ease your wavering. You know, your worries are going to start diminish slowly but steady until you are at certain point throughout the week, you are going to recognize uh, that you did the wrong thing. And even you are going to ask yourself, my God, why, why haven't I done that earlier? You know, I mean, why was I so stubborn not to take any initiation, for example? Or why, else was, why I did not realize that I can do that thing, you know, and kind of like make money out of it and so on and so forth, guys. So you are to expand your living, all right? You are to expand your presence and to expand your... Um, life in general throughout this week we are going to do so which uh, in my behalf it does i think relate to the numerology forecast that i'm planning to do so that is my variety that is my uncomfort zone as i am studying it currently i'm not feeling comfortable enough to do it you know not feeling ready enough to do it but i will try it out nonetheless you know and, and hopefully guys you're gonna like it you know so that is going to be my breakthrough here that is going to stir my thing and uh, the, the final card that we do have for you, Scorpio, that is going to be the uh, Eight of Pentacles. So this is the guidance. And the guidance points that you need to have that eye for the subtleties here. The minor details that is exactly what is going to make the things work. Additionally to that, you need to be ready for some ups and downs. You know, everything goes through the ups and downs like a... Um, how do you how do you call it like a heartbeat all right so the situation is going to be alive and it will have its heartbeat and the heartbeat has an ups and downs and you're gonna go through all of that additionally this card points that something that took a, a long long time to be prepared now finally the time had ca had came you know that thing to be initiated and uh, probably that is what we're talking about here initiating the thing against all odds reaping the fruits of your labor exerting your personal signature into the world showing to the world that you are capable stirring your situation finding out that there is nothing that you should be afraid of all right and uh, the accompanied card here that is going to be the uh, five of cups so pretty much you're going to handle these appointments very well uh, throughout this week and um, as well with this combo as a guidance here guys you need to know that uh, rep uh, re repeatance when you repeat things this is the mother of knowledge. This is the mother of perfection. So if something doesn't happen the way you want it, try a new. The, uh, the five of cups with the eight of uh, pentacles points that there is always a better way to do something. And until you reach perfection, perfection, you should not stop doing it, which means that I will have to record one video for like a hundred times before I like it. But I guess it is the toll that I gotta do here, guys. And uh, you have to think about what your toll is going to be. But yeah, you always, you can reach perfection here with your incorporation, with your goal, you know, with your relationship or with your career for that matter. Only, you know, if you're not afraid to take the initiation, only if you are not afraid to stir your situation, only if you are not afraid to see that the world is bigger than you make it. So that being said, this was your weekly tarot reading Scorpio for April 22nd to so April 28th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, I hope that we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.